Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Andrew Bond and thank you for joining me on this episode of Out of the Box. Today's video is titled Bowling Tips, How to Choose the Perfect Bowling Shoe. And to help me do that, I went on the internet and I pretty much just ordered every shoe I could find that came out this year. And as you guys can see behind me, I have 40 brand new pairs of bowling shoes. Now I have shoes behind me to fit pretty much anybody's game, whether you're a recreational bowler, your first league, or maybe you're a serious tournament bowler or a pro bowler, there definitely are a few pairs sitting behind me that would fit for your game. So I wanna do a little bit of education on them, show you what they look like, tell you how much they cost, tell you what I like about each shoe, and help you guys pick one that might help your game just a little bit extra. But before I can get to all that good stuff, I do wanna give a brief shout out to bowlersdeals.com because they were the ones who helped me acquire all 40 pairs of these shoes. And also, if you happen to be new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give the video a thumbs up if you like this type of content. It just lets me know that you want me to make more of these videos and you wanna see more stuff like this. That helps me out. And if you have any questions about the channel or uh, comments, concerns about the channel or anything that we review today, leave those in the comments section below because I love hearing back from all of you guys watching. And if you guys do wanna take a closer look at any of the shoes that we review today, I will go ahead and drop the links down in the description below just to make your guys' life super easy. Let's go ahead and jump straight into the review so we can pick out a pair of shoes that works for you. Let's go ahead and kick things off right with one of the better options available on the market today. The Dexter SST6 Hybrid Boas featured in the black and red color, which by the way, looks absolutely phenomenal on this pair of shoes. This is on the upper echelon of the price range because it is a, bowl, a premium bowling product. Coming in at $169.95, this shoe was not only built for performance, but also to be very comfortable and very convenient as well. As you'll see, it's made with very durable, high quality premium materials, including leather and canvas. It also is featuring the brand new BOA lacing system that is very, very convenient to slip the shoe on and off and is built to last for a very long time. When you buy a premium product like this, it's also gonna come with a removable heel and slide sole as well. And if you do happen to have a wider foot, this is gonna be a great comfortable option because it does feature a wide toe box. Next up, we're gonna take a look at the Dexter Bud bowling shoe. This is featured in the black and gold colorway and it is gonna ring in at $49.95. It does have slide right technology. It does not have removable slide heel or slide sole, uh, but it is a good starter bowling shoe. It looks good. It's gonna perform well. It's not the cheapest option. It's not the most expensive option. If you're a brand new bowler or a recreational bowler, this might be a good option for you. We have the Dexter Pacific bowling shoe. This particular pair rings in at $52.95. And this is a prime example of a company that actually cares and listens to its bowlers. This is a, an example of a lifestyle brand shoe. So it looks good. It kind of looks like a street shoe. It's made out of a blue canvas material. It feels really, really durable, heavy weighted. It's got a nice thick rubber on the bottom and slide right technology. So this is going to be a really, really great value option for maybe a newer bowler or someone just getting into a league. Next up, a shoe I know a ton of people were waiting for, the 9HT Boa in the color shift colorway. This shoe looks absolutely crazy. It looked crazy online, but in person in the right type of lighting, this thing is just absolutely insane. This is going to be one of the most high-end shoes on the market today. It's got extremely durable materials around all the parts that actually matter, which is the toe, the heel, the sides, but then it's also got this extremely breathable mesh system going around the top, the side, the toe box. It's going to be a very breathable shoe, a very comfortable shoe, and it's got the brand new BOA lacing system, but instead of the knob being on the heel like the SST6, you're actually gonna see the knob featured right on the top of the tongue. The shoe obviously is gonna have interchangeable heel and slide sole as well, and does ring in at $209.95. Next up, we have the 9ST in the black colorway. The shoe does ring in at $189.95, and the primary difference between this pair of the nines and the other nines on the Dexter line is that upper, you're gonna have a sock-like material. It's kind of like a knitted upper, 
very, very squishy, very stretchy when you're wearing the shoe. So it's built for comfort, it's built for breathability, but just like any of the other nines, it's built for performance. It is gonna have the interchangeable heel and slide sole, and it does have a reinforced heel and toe area as well. So if you're concerned about durability, don't be because it is still a premium option. Next up, we have the Dexter Ricky 4 in the navy and orange colorway. The shoe rings in at $39.95 and is one of the value options in terms of bowling shoes. If it's your first time buying any type of bowling gear or you're a recreational bowler, this might be a great way to go. When you consider renting bowling shoes costs on average between three and four dollars every time you bowl, not only do you have to not stick your feet in other people's stinky shoes, but you can have a more affordable option that will save you money in the long run if you bowl a couple times a year. Next up is one of the better value options in the Dexter Pro Boa. These shoes do ring in at $89.95 and as the name suggests, they do have the brand new Boa lacing system technology built in. So if you want that brand new technology but you're not trying to spend $200 to get it, this is absolutely a great option for you. This is gonna be made out of medium duty materials as far as the upper is concerned. And then it also is a performance shoe because you are going to have that interchangeable slide sole right on the bottom of the shoe. Now it doesn't have an interchangeable slide heel, but at $89.95, I think that's going to be a great value option for a second or third year bowler. For all my storm lovers out there, we have the men's SP3 top of the line bowling shoes in the metallic red silver colorway. The colorway is pretty crazy, but if you like red and silver, this shoe is definitely for you. This is of the upper echelon in high end bowling shoes. It does ring in at $189.95. It has a removable slide sole, removable slide heel as well, so you can really customize for performance and for your game as well. This shoe is very, very durable and you can feel it by the sheer weight when you hold it in your hand. Storm doesn't forget about its newer bowlers with the Storm Men's Bill. The shoe rings in at $50.95. It comes in a gray twill canvas colorway up top with the black logos that really pop. This is a really great looking shoe. It has slide right technology on the slide felt on the bottom and a very, very light duty slide heel on it. This is a light duty shoe and great for first time bowlers, recreational bowlers, or new league bowlers. Nothing hits like a well, you guys know the rest. Next up, we got the Hammer Rogue in the black and orange colorway. And just like the name suggests, this is a very tough bowling shoe. It may have a breathable mesh-like material on the sides, but don't let that fool you because the reinforced heel and toe box area of this shoe make it extremely durable. Ringing in at only $79.95, this shoe is a great value because it has a very thick rubber durable slide heel as well as removable slide sole as well so you are going to get a lot of performance and durability from the shoe and speaking of the hammer boss ringing in at 174.95 we officially have the most comfortable pair of bowling shoes in the world today in my opinion once i tried this pair of shoes on i did not want to take them off i want to wear them around my house i want to wear them to work I wanna wear them on the bowling lanes. These shoes are absolutely comfortable. And not only that, they have really, really nice performance. I was able to get the exact stick that I wanted at the line with this pair of shoes. So this shoes not only fits great, it feels great. It's really durable, but the performance is there as well. So this shoe I would highly recommend. Being off the Brunswick men's line, we have the Slingshot featured in the Royal and White colorway. It does have a Velcro strap over the top and it is a lifestyle brand shoe. It's gonna be light duty, so not looking for something Thing for a serious bowler, more so for recreational or just intro to league bowling. And it does ring in at $59.95. So it's a great value there. Next up, we have the Brunswick Vapor. This shoe does ring in at $44.95. So again, another great starter option if you're new to bowling and you're just getting into buying gear and you don't know what to buy, this might be a good one to grab. It's a light duty bowling shoe. It is gonna come equipped with slide sole and a light rubber heel on it as well. So it's not gonna do too much or too little on you. Coming in at the most affordable option in the Brunswick line, we have the Brunswick Revenge. It comes in at $39.95, a very light duty bowling shoe a great shoe to buy if you're a recreational bowler. 
Okay, kicking things off with the Strike Force line, we have the Strike Force Flyer Light in the black and red colorway. This is a light duty value shoe at $39.95. It is gonna come with a light duty slide heel and slide sole as well. Next up, we have the Strike Force Aviator featured in the red and black colorway. This has a sock-like upper knit material on it. So it's really, really comfortable. And it's also got kind of a medium duty rubber on the heel. And it also has flex slide technology on the slide pad. Next up, we're featuring the Strike Force Legend. This pair of shoes is a nice medium duty leather material on the upper. It's got removable slide sole and slide heel as well. And it's gonna have a thick durable slide pad on the bottom. The toe is reinforced and this is a very quality shoe made by Strike Force. Kicking things off right for the ladies, we have the nine black and jeweled colorway. The shoe is made by Dexter. It is one of the most premium options when it comes to bowling shoes for the ladies. It comes in at $189.95. Not only is it made from extremely premium materials, just like the men's shoe, but this black jeweled inlay on the upper of the shoe absolutely pops and makes this shoe look great. It does come with a reinforced toe box and heel. It does have removable slide heel and slide sole. So this is gonna be a great option for a high-end pro bowler or maybe a serious tournament bowler. Next up, we have the Dexter Carry. This is gonna be one of the more value options for the ladies out there. It rings in at $44.95. And again, this is a lifestyle shoe. It looks just like a street shoe. It comes in a mint colorway. It does have pink accents on it. And it does have slide right technology on the bottom and actually a pretty medium durability rubber as well on the heel. So this is gonna be a pretty good option for the ladies out there if they're not trying to spend an arm and a leg. Next up, we have the Dexter Susanna. Again, this is gonna be a mid-range value option when it comes to the ladies' bowling shoes. It rings in at $49.95. This is featured in the gray 12 colorway, and it is a lifestyle brand shoe. It's a slip-on, kind of looks like the old slip-on Vans, which is a nice touch. It comes with a canvas print on the upper, and again, we do see the slide right featured technology on the bottom with a medium-duty rubber on the heel. Next up, we have a Dexter Raquel 5. This is going to be one of the more value options ringing in at $39.95. The shoe is very light weighted, light duty shoe, really, really great for beginners or for recreational bowlers. You are gonna see the slide right technology featured in the bottom and a very light rubber in the heel. Next up, we have a stunner in the Dexter Ultra. This shoe does ring in at $39.95. It's in a black multi colorway, which absolutely pops. So if you're looking to make a statement at a great value, this is the shoe for you. It has a canvas upper that looks really great. It's gonna be featured with medium duty rubber in the heel and a little bit of slide right technology in the slide sole on the top. Next up, we have an absolutely awesome pair of shoes for the ladies here, the SST8 Pro in the white crackle and black colorway. Not only just like the black jewel is this inlay awesome, it just really, really bounces off. But what really gets me about this shoe other than the high durability and the premium materials is this leather is so soft. It's the softest leather I think I've ever felt on a bowling shoe, men or women's. It's really, really nice. And I wish they made leather like this on the men's shoes because if they have, I sure haven't felt it. This does come featured with removable slide heel and slide sole as well, and is gonna be one of the more premium options. This shoe actually does ring in conveniently at $129.99, so it's a really great value. This is a great pickup right now. I would highly recommend this shoe to any ladies out there looking to step up their game, become a serious tournament bowler, and you're looking for a pair of high-performance shoes that's gonna last you for years to come. Next up, we have the women's version of the Dexter Pro Boas. Like I said before, this is gonna be a very good value option, ringing in at $89.95. It does come featured with the brand new Boa lacing technology, a medium duty upper mesh material, and it is gonna come as a performance shoe with a removable slide sole. Next up, we have a pair of Brunswick Bloom women's bowling shoes. This is a great value option, ringing in at $44.95. It comes with a great canvas floral pattern and as well as a canvas blue striped pattern on it. It's a light duty shoe. It's got a very light duty rubber on the bottom and it comes featured with a slide sole as well, non-removable. Next up, we have the Brunswick Versa. This is a great ladies option here. It's gonna be a very comfortable shoe. Ringing in at $52.95, this shoe does come equipped with Velcro straps over the top. So this almost is a lifestyle shoe, 
over a performance shoe. It's built for comfortability and it is a very light duty shoe as well. Next up, we have the Brunswick Mystic in the black and pink colorway. This is a great value starter option if you're a recreational bowler or it's your first league. It's a good looking shoe. It's actually pretty medium duty leather on the upper and it does come equipped with a very light rubber on the heel and also a very light slide pad. Coming up for the ladies, we have the Strike Force Flex in the white and grape colorway. I really like this pair of shoes because it's got a really durable canvas material on the sides upper and it's got some leather surrounding the more delicate areas where they need to be reinforced. It does come with flex slide technology and a rubber durable heel as well. I think this is a really good option for the ladies and it rings in at $54.95, so definitely a good value. Next up for the ladies, we have the Strike Force Cali. This is in the gray colorway and it kind of has a stretch top uh, diagonal bungee lace system going on. It's a canvas shoe. It looks lifestyle, almost like a pair of Vans, but not quite. And then it does have a very, very, actually almost virtually no rubber on the heel there. And it does have flex slide technology. So this is really just a beginner shoe, a shoe made for somebody who doesn't really want to slide. They don't really want to stick, just something in between. And the shoe does ring in at $52.95. Next up, we have the Strike Force Gem, and this is featured in a black and teal colorway. There are multicolored laces. You have leather around the upper, the toe box, and you have a teal on the inside as well. You are gonna have a rubber waffle-like material on the slide heel and a flex slide technology on the toe as well for the felt and a reinforced toe. This is a really, really great option and it's only $39.95. So, so far Strike Force is doing a really great job with these lady shoes. We have the Women's Strike Force Nova Light. And if you don't like heavy shoes, ladies, this one might be the one for you. This might be the lightest pair of bowling shoes that we felt today. And it's very light duty, virtually no rubber on the heel. So if you hate sticking, this one might be a good option for you. And the flex slide technology felt on the slide sole is pretty light duty as well, so you're really not gonna slide too much with this one. The shoe does ring in at $46.95, so it is on the lower end of the cost spectrum. Next up, we have the Storm Meadow Bowling Shoe in multicolor. This one for the ladies is such a great option. Not only does this shoe look great, but you can just feel that this canvas is extremely durable. And that's what I'm always looking for in bowling shoes is not only the performance, but the durability as well. I don't mind spending a couple extra bucks if I'm gonna get a shoe that's gonna last me a long time. And you can tell Storm was really thoughtful with this one. This is really, really well made. And surprisingly, it rings in at $42, so it's a really great value. It's got a heavy duty, thick rubber heel on it, and it does have slide right technology on the sole as well. So this is a really, really nice shoe and a really mid-level performance shoe, I would say for the ladies. We have the Storm Sky with the multicolor upper. This is a really, really nice looking pair of shoes. That upper is a really thick, durable canvas material. So again, Storm is absolutely about quality and I absolutely love that. The bottom, however, is really light duty. It's got a really thin slide heel and then also very thin slide right as well on the felt, which is actually just fine because I'm sure a lot of ladies in this level of bowling shoes are not gonna be sliding like crazy out there or looking for any type of crazy performance. So coming in at $52.95, this is a really great, well-made value shoe. Clocking in at one of the toughest hammer products on the market, we have the Hammer Lady Force ringing in at 164. This shoe is absolutely premium. It's built with really nice leather and carbon fiber looking canvas material. This thing is built for performance and for comfortability. Just like the Hammer Boss that we've seen before, this shoe is so padded on the inside. You'll Once you put these on, you're never gonna wanna take them off. And speaking of performance, the slide heel and slide sole are both removable, so you can really customize your level of slide to get your game honed in just right. This is gonna be great for a pro bowler or a serious tournament bowler. Well guys, it looks like that is gonna wrap up today's video. If you do happen to be new to the channel, like I said before, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions at all regarding any of the shoes that we went over and reviewed today, leave them down in the comments section below because I read all my comments. I love hearing feedback from you guys and I'm happy to answer any questions that you might have. And if you guys did wanna take a closer look at any of the shoes we reviewed today, remember I did leave links in the description below to all of them uh, just to help you guys out a little bit. 
Let me know what you guys want to see me review next and make sure you look out for my future upcoming videos because I am going to be doing a little bit of a closer detailed look at some of the higher end more expensive shoes uh, for more of the experienced and tournament bowlers coming up next week. So you're going to want to stick around and check that out. But until I see you on the next video, we out.